Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X6 custom ROM reviews pixel extended version 5.5 and android version is 13 you can see here there was a version update here as you can see previously I reviewed 5.4 last 10 days ago and you can see now with February 5th 2023 latest security patch has been enabled and 4.14.290 Thunderbolt kernel has been used here build number you can see 27th february build it is and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 11 minutes and 11 seconds and 5 milliseconds you can see there is little bit of throttling has been noticed hence the minimum score is 109 and average is 152 and maximum is 185 million jps and it's throttle to 62 percent of its max performance but guys i have told that the pixel os has a very good experience and the perfect rom under 13 based rom and i want to say similar things here also even the quick settings panel as you can see it's very very smooth in my opinion as you can see you can drag from anywhere and even the toggles as you can see just swipe it just touch the screen it's as smooth as the pixel is what i said this is the version and this is a thunderbolt kernel because of that somewhere around cpu throttling has been detected but i can say this is again a very good pretty good rom available for poco xc you can see the material you design the widgets like clock and battery if you use multiple bluetooth devices you will be seeing the battery percentage here these are the widgets available for android 13 clean ui experience you will get in this particular rom you can see these are the apps i have installed and if i go into home screen and adapter these are the settings you get and you can change the wallpapers from here widgets as i said before those things are available and home settings obviously you get a pixel launcher here let me increase a little bit of volume and you can see the volume panel also and let's see the dialer you can see there is a direct video call feature available and call recording feature is also available in this rom now camera application you get here uh, crash i want to show that let's go into file manager okay as you can see the camera keeps stopping the leica camera has been pre-installed here i haven't done any routing or anything while flashing but still the camera is not going to work in this particular room and charging support 33 watt charging support is there it's currently showing 17.1 if wait for a particular time it will gradually increase the percentage i mean the voltage high voltage can be used here using the 33 watt charger you can charge the smartphone in this pixel sorry yes pixel extended 5.5 which is good in my opinion they released this update very late but still it's very smooth in the uh, ui you can see the geekbench scores uh, app opening time and you can see single score is 551 and multi score is 1483 which is good in my opinion not bad and the multi score could have been better and kernel as i said thunderbolt kernel has been used here the ui wise it's really smooth i haven't faced any issues so far and camera application you need to use this or if you want to use any gcam port you can use that you can disable this no no option to disable and even four stop i tried multiple times clearing storage and four stopping the camera application it's not working here it's a, a bug in this particular room they would have been fixed or they would have been given an option to use any other gcam anyhow you can install any other gcam parts but MIUI leica is simply missing in this rom only in the pixel experience i tried using the uh, method of flashing from magics that's working fine other than that none of the roms are supported i don't know what's the problem and one more thing in this rom is this safety and status as you can see it get failed i don't understand what's the problem here even this is not a pre-rooted rom but still they can't even enable that i mean safety net status could have been passed directly but that's how it is i don't think so because of these options i can suggest you to pixel os itself you can see level one certification you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution also you can see the app opening time of android benchmark and 3 lakh 64 and 5.2 degrees celsius is the temperature drop and six percentage of battery has been dropped here here temperature has been dropped because i turned off auto brightness and lowered the brightness that's the situation here 
overall it's a good ui but there are a lot more shortcomings like camera not working the maybe like a camera and safety net status getting failed other things makes this rom keep away and we already have a lot more options here like here you can see this all the customizations the options like pixel os and pixel experience those getting better and better here and they would have been made the safety net status fix and the other settings what i said before then it could have been better face and fingerprint unlocks are working fine let me show you the face unlock first as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face and now the fingerprint unlock is also really really cool to unlock your smartphone that wobbling effect is still available here and speed test i have 100 mps plan it's pulling up to 90 to 97 which is fine in this particular ram ram management is also fine the recent app speed is fine here you can clear and you can take the screenshot and select the text from here other than that i don't find any options even the pill length also cannot be increased dark theme yes you get the uh, pitch black condition as you can see you can schedule it out and uh, tap to sleep on the quick settings panel and tap to wake on anywhere is working fine and that's how it is i did not found this as a great rom because of these things like camera application okay let's ignore that and safety net status could have been passed directly that's the only thing i have a complaint but if you know how to flash the safety net status i tried in previous video also it was not getting fixed here the safety net status fix the version of the safety net status fix is outdated maybe we need some update on that other than that it's a very good rom its smoothness is as good as pixel os also if you are using this pixel extended go and update it if you don't mind the safety status fix and camera application you can use any other camera application that's it guys in this video if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel let that subscribe button and also allow that bell notification guys that's it in this video also like the video if you like it give it a like this video and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now